Unlike many other team sports, volleyball doesn't have a grand significant award that would crown a player as the best in the world. Perhaps this is why there's not such fervent debate and discussion about it in the volleyball community. I often get asked in the comments about who the best volleyball player in the world is. I never give a straightforward answer because I don't have one myself. Different positions, different teams and each athlete's unique impact on the game make it complex. Some excel in national teams, others in clubs. I haven't found the criterion to single out the world's best player. And if we consider the entire history of volleyball, my knowledge is even less since I didn't follow the early 2000s legends or earlier periods. Plus, it's silly to compare eras because volleyball has evolved significantly over time. A bit of food for thought was provided by World of Volley, which released its top 10 current players list. 5 men and 5 women. Let's discuss this top. I'll present the article Author's Arguments, the link to which I'll leave in the description, and I'll add my own subjective thoughts. But I must note, I won't be able to add much about the women since I'm just starting to get into women's volleyball and am far from understanding it fully. Before we begin, write who you think the best players in the world are. I'm eager to hear your views. Now, let's dive in! Wilfredo Leon opens the top, still considered the world's best player by the article's authors, recognized by many analysts as the generation's best player. Despite being 30, he's been playing at a professional level for nearly 20 years, including 5 with the Cuban national team and since 2019 as an outside hitter for Poland. Leon has over 80 team and 60 individual awards and a world record for serve speed. Truly phenomenal achievements. There's no doubt about his dominance and excellence. Nor is there any doubt he deserves a top spot. However, in my opinion, Leon can't currently be considered the world's best, as he's not even a starter for his club or national team now. Injuries have become too significant to ignore in recent years. So first and foremost, let's wish Wilfredo health. And we move on. Next up is Maxim Mikhailov. His place in this top is also indisputable. When you think of professionalism and longevity in sports, Mikhailov is the first name that comes to mind. The opposite has participated in four Olympics and would surely be in a fifth if possible. Maxim boasts Olympic medals of all colors, with around 50 individual and over 100 team awards. Even at 36, he remains a top player, a unique athlete. Comparing significant athletes for their countries, one cannot forget Wallace, the legendary Brazilian opposite. With about 100 trophies and medals with his team and around 40 individual awards, he's rightfully considered one of the best. But compared to Mikhailov, he has fewer Olympics. However, if Wallace had gone to Paris, they would have evened out. However, Wallace's reputation isn't as pristine as the Russians, considering his federation scandal that led to disqualification. But these are minor details in the legendary career of Wallace. Next on the list is Osmani Juan Torena, a Cuban native who played for his country for three years before claiming Olympic silver with Italy. The outside hitter also has four MVP titles from World Club Championships, a record in the tournament's history. Besides, he boasts another 35 individual awards and 96 team medals, including five club world championship wins and three in the Champions League. The last in the top five active players is Robert Landy Simone, the legendary Cuban middle blocker. One of the most dominant middle blockers in history, he has won gold medals in multiple countries, including Italy, Brazil, Qatar, Iran and Korea. The Cuban has around 90 team awards and over 40 individual titles. While no one doubts Robert Landy's abilities, if he made this top, Dmitry Muzerski deserves mention too. The Russian giant was an even more intimidating player at the net. Remember his incredible performance in the 2012 Olympics final, almost single-handedly defeating Brazil as an opposite, a position he still excels at in Japan. Even at 35, Muzerski proved his worth at the last club world championship, not leaving India without individual and team awards. Now, as I said earlier, let's review the top 5 active female players according to World of Volley. Again, my knowledge here is limited, so I'll introduce you to the list and look forward to your comments on it. Let's go! And we start with an unusual character, the only libero on the list, Brenda Castillo. The Dominican has amassed an incredible number of team and individual trophies, over 100 in each category, a phenomenal achievement for a libero, especially her 6 MVP titles. 
This season, Brenda is competing for her first Champions League gold medal with the Italian club Milano. Next is a woman who has not only won the Champions League, but also claimed gold in Turkey, Japan, Korea and China. South Korea's outside hitter Kim Yong kung has over 100 various trophies and medals with her team and about 80 individual awards, including 16 MVP titles at different tournaments. Next is another Asian powerhouse, China's outside hitter Zhu Ting, who by 29 had earned the nickname MVP Collector with 15 such titles, one at the Rio Olympics. Her outstanding play helped China take gold from Brazil. Zhu has 70 team and over 50 individual accolades. Closing the list are two Brazilians, Taisa Menezes and Gabriela Guimaraes. The legendary South American middle blocker has won over 140 team trophies, including two Olympic golds in 2008 and 2012. And even years later, she continues to collect awards, including 39 individual ones. The younger Guimaraes has already surpassed her more renowned compatriot in individual awards, with over 40 by the time of recording, plus 100 team achievements, including back-to-back -back Champions League victories. For a full collection, she just lacks major wins with the national team. So far, she has an Olympic silver from Tokyo, a World Championship silver and three Nations League silvers. That's the top 10 current players from World of Volley. I eagerly await your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with all positions? Who would you add to this list? And remember to like and subscribe for awesome volleyball content. Your activity under this video brings you more cool volleyball insights. As usual, this was Nick. Love what you do and success will follow. See you soon. Bye.